logical reasoning, time and speed related questions. Let's begin. A cricket match started at 10.30 in the morning and ended at 2.15 in the afternoon. For how long was the match played? The start time is 10.30 a.m. and the end time is 2.15 p.m. When there is a.m. and p.m., it is best to just convert the p.m. time to a 24-hour clock. So we have 2.15 plus 12 is 14.15 hours. So the time passed is... three hours and 45 minutes, which is option number three. Let's move on. A cyclist rides 24 kilometers per hour and takes a break of 10 minutes after every hour. If he has started at 8.30 in the morning, when will he reach the town that is 120 kilometers away? 8.30 a.m. he covers zero kilometers. At 9.30, at 24 kilometers per hour, he covers 24 kilometers. At 9.40, he is still covered 24 kilometers because he has taken a break. Then at 10.40, he will cover 48 kilometers. At 10.50, he will still have covered only 48 because he has taken a break. Then at 11.50, he is covered 72. At 12, 72 again for a break. And this is what is happening. But calculating this will take just too long. So the distance to be covered is 120 kilometers. Let's look at an alternative way. The speed is 24 kilometers per hour. So, so we know that speed is distance upon time. So we have time as 120 upon 24, which is 5 hours. So 4 breaks in all. So the break time is 40. So total time is 40 minutes plus 5 hours. So the end time will be adding 5 hours 40 minutes to 830, which will be By the way, why will there be only 4 breaks in all? Because there will be no break after reaching to 10 p.m. Let's move on to the next question. A train travels at the speed of 40 km per hour and starts at 8 a.m. Another train travels on the same route at 60 km per hour and starts at 10.30 a.m. When will the trains meet each other? Both the trains meet, so the distance is the same. If the second train travels for H hours, the first travels for H plus two and a half hours. Now we know that speed is equal to distance upon time. So the first train distance will be 40 into h plus 2.5. The second train distance will be 60 into h. So 40 into h plus 2.5 is 16 to h. Therefore h will be 5. So the meeting will happen at 1030 plus 5 hours which is 3.30 p.m. The river flows with a speed of 8 km per hour and a boat goes at 12 km per hour. When the boat goes in the direction of the flow, it covers a certain distance in 2 hours. How much time will it need if it is going opposite to the flow? In the direction of the flow, the effective speed will be 12 plus 8, which is 20 kilometers per hour. 
Now we know that the distance is speed into time. Therefore, we have distance is 20 into 2 is 40 kilometers. Against the flow of the river, the effective speed will be 12 minus 8, which is 4 kilometers per hour. Therefore, the time taken will be 40 upon 4, which is 10 hours, which is option number 3. How many kilometers distance will be covered by a cyclist riding 24 kilometers per hour in 2 hours and 30 minutes? We know our speed is equal to distance upon time. The speed is given as 24 kilometers per hour. The time is 2 and a half hours. What is going to be the distance? All units are matching, so we can proceed. Distance is 24 into 2 and a half, which is 24 into 5 upon 2 is equal to 60 kilometers, which is option number 2. Let's move on to the next question. How many hours did the train travel till 2.10 p.m. if it started at 6.40 a.m. with an average speed of 45 kilometers per hour? 2.10 p.m. is... 14 10 hours converted into 24 hour format. The time taken is 14 10 minus 640, which is 7 and a half, 7 hours 30 minutes. We do not have to do anything with the speed. We are not asked to find the distance. So the train traveled for 7 hours and 30 minutes, which is the correct option, option number 1. How much time will be required for a train running at the speed of 54 km per hour to cover a distance of 144 km? Now we know the formula of distance in speed and time. We have been given S is 54 km per hour, D as 144 km. What is T? T will be D upon S. All units match, so we can proceed. And we find that the time taken is 8 upon 3 hours, which is option number 4. And that brings us to the end of this lesson. If you like our videos, do share them and subscribe to our channel. If you want awesome quizzes, write to us. Keep watching and keep learning with Walnut.